This one's really quiet. Hello? Testing. 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 They're both.
but you too big. Fortify her. Uh, uh, uh. 
shake and forever we worship you I swear your good Father and the Holy Spirit for you have risen and saved us, have mercy on us. In the name of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the founder of the statutes of perfection and the author of the law of graces, we declare in this Orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union and possession and the marriage of the blessed Orthodox son, Michael, to his betrothed, the blessed Orthodox daughter, Rebecca, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, blessed be God the Father, the Pantokra. Come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In the name of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the founder of the statute of perfection and the author of the law of graces, we declare in this Orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts, the union of possession and the marriage of the blessed Orthodox daughter, Rebecca, to her betrothed, the blessed Orthodox son, Michael, blessed be his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, our our Lord. together saying our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one in christ jesus our lord for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever amen in the name of our lord our god and our savior Jesus Christ, the founder of the statutes of perfection and the author of the law of graces, we complete in this orthodox assembly and before the altar of the Lord of hosts the union of possession and of the marriage of the blessed orthodox son, Michael, to his betrothed, the blessed orthodox daughter, Rebecca. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. It. Ah, 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 
our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory for our own. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us pray, Father, bless. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to himself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our lives. Let us pray. God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you for everything concerning everything and in everything. For you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Uh, 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 that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all times, and bless the bridegroom and bride, and forgive us our... Lord, have mercy. Therefore we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all in thee all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies, hidden and manifest, take them away from us and from all your people, and from this bridegroom and bride, and from this your holy place, but those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you who have given us the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, come, let us worship the Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. true 
God help to you, Mary the Affair. God who was born to us, God the Logos help to you. To the bridal chamber decorated in every way for the true bridegroom who united with humanity through the intercessions of the Theotokos. Amen. Mary, O oh Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins that we may praise you. For you have risen and saved us, have mercy on us. O God, who formed man by his own hands and gave him the woman for his help and strength, now also our master be a mediator for the groom and his helpmate, adjoin Michael and Rebecca through the pledge of fellowship and grant them the sign of their union so that through the bond of love they may be unified in harmony and say unto them, My peace I give you both, my peace I leave with you both. For you are the peace of us all, and unto you do we offer the glory, the honor, with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life. O Christ, the Logos o of the, the Father, Father, the only begotten God, grant us your peace. Which is full of every joy. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the perfect Trinity. We worship Him and glorify Him. Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who ornamented the sky with the stars and adorned the earth with the splendor of the many different kinds of fruitful plants, who granted humanity the heavenly things and bestowed upon it rest on the earth. Now also we ask you, O good one, the lover of mankind, to bless these vestments so that they become for your two servants who will wear them through the pleasure of your goodness, vestments of glory and salvation. Amen. Amen. Vestments of joy and delight. Amen. Amen. Preserve them both pure in soul, body, and spirit. Amen. Amen. That their life be healthy, peaceful, and chaste through the act of righteousness. Grant them both heavenly and earthly comfort that they be become rich through the acts of righteousness. Fill their houses and storage places with all their blessings, and may they become worthy of doing your pleasure at all times. For you are merciful, plenteous, and mercy and righteous. For to you is due glory with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life who is of one essence with you, now and forever and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. The spiritual raiment covers Michael and the girdle of jewels. Michael has put on Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Worship you, Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit for you. Risen and saved us, have mercy on us. Paul, the servant of our Lord Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, appointed to the gospel of God. 
A reading from the epistle of our teacher Paul to the Ephesians. May his holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church. And he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with, wash, with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should, own, that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. No, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as the Lord does the church. For we are the members of his body and his flesh and of his bones. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let either... Let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the, comm which is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Spirit of Comfort came down upon the apostles on the feast of Pentecost, and they spoke in many tongues. The Holy God, holy, mighty, 
Holy immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, who rose from the dead and ascended into the heaven. Have mercy upon us, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages, amen, O Holy Trinity, have mercy upon us. Let's pray, Father, bless. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. O Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who sent to his saintly disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men, have desired to see the things which you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things which you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes where they see, and your ears where they hear. May we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospels, through the prayers of you, or saints. Pray for the holy God. Lord, have mercy. And also, our Master, all those who are bidding us to remember them in our prayers and supplications, which we offer up unto you, O Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, salvation of us all, hope of us all, the healing of us all and the resurrection of us Alleluia, Alleluia, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Bless, O Lord, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. From the Psalm of our teacher David the prophet may his holy blessings be with us amen which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house your children like all of plants all around your table, alleluia. Now it came to pass when Jesus had finished these sayings that he had departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan. And great multitudes followed him and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came to him, testing him and saying to him, is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? And he answered and said to them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made the male and female? And said, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. 
Therefore, what God has joined together, let not men separate. Glory be to God for Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. My beloved, before we continue with the rites of the crowning service that you're about to witness right now, I know that many of you, this might be the first time that you participate and get to pray a crowning ceremony or a marriage ceremony in the Orthodox Church. There's a few things that might feel a little bit different to you. And as you're about to witness what it is you're about to see right now, it's important for us to maybe just take a moment and to guide you a little bit through what it is that you're about to see. There is something very mystical about how it is that when we pray the crowning ceremony in the church, the whole purpose is for us to ask God to do something that is not seen to the eyes and that we hope is really done mysteriously through His grace. What we are asking God to do is to take two people who when they walked into the church together today, they were individuals, they were separated, they were unique in their own way, but they were divided. They are two people. What we are hoping for is that at the end of this prayer, that the two mystically become one. This oneness happens at the level of the heart and at the level of the mind and at the level of the will. This is why you heard in the reading of the gospel right now that what God has joined together, we pray that no one can separate. That their union of heart and of will and of mind be something that is eternal. Be something that no one can interfere with and separate. You're also going to hear about how it is in the prayer we mention this idea about how all of humanity is called to participate in what the church calls priests prophets, and kings. Every human being is called to reflect the glory of God in their everyday life. But today specifically, the grace and the mystery that they're about to receive in marriage is one where they are called to now participate in this calling to become priests, prophets, and kings in a much deeper way. This is why you're going to see a tremendous amount of symbolism. For instance, you'll notice that they're already wearing priestly robes. The robe that is on Michael right now is the same robe that the priest will pray every time when he comes and celebrates the liturgy. This is a priestly robe to celebrate how it is that he is now called to be a priest in his own home. And the, what is the role of the priest other than to take what God has given to him and to offer it back to him in thanksgiving? He is responsible to now lead his home as a priest within his home to take his wife and his future children by God and to be able to lead them into the kingdom as the one who is supposed to lead his family. The prophet idea is one where you have to understand what the purpose of the prophet was. Many of us just think that prophets are supposed to foretell the future. But that's not necessarily true. A prophet is a person who preserves the word of God. And their intention now as they establish the Christian home is that they are supposed to preserve the word of God within that home. They are supposed to preserve the word of God within their own hearts and hold each other accountable in preserving the word of God in their own life. And this is why you'll notice that they're going to be anointed with oil. The same way that in the Old Testament, prophets were anointed with oil by God to indicate the grace that was given to them, they will also be anointed with oil to indicate the calling of becoming prophets in their own home. And lastly, the idea of kingship and how it is that the human being was called to be something that is the pinnacle of all of creation. That God blessed humanity in His image and likeness and called them to have dominion over creation. So they're going to be crowned. And you're going to see just a little bit how it is that the church places crowns on their head. Not so they can celebrate the fact that they're now wearing bling and they're happy with the fact that all of a sudden, you know, they're, they, they feel like they're the king and queen of the evening. The kingship that we are called to is the same kind of kingship that our Savior had. Where he rules as king on the cross, in sacrifice, in love, in the offering of themselves. And so in reality, the crowns that they are wearing is not the crowns that you would see put on a royal family. But rather, it is the crowns of martyrdom, the crowns that are given to those who are willing to offer their lives. And so today, what you might not even realize is that the both of you are going to be wearing crowns today because you are saying, I am now no longer living for myself. I offer my life to you. And you say, I am no longer living my life for me. I offer my life to you. In this offering of life, we reflect on martyrdom. And so today, you'll see this. You'll see priests, prophets, and kings reflected throughout all of the symbolism of the rites. 
So we ask you, join us now as we rise up again and as we continue the prayers. And please raise your heart to God and pray for the bride and groom that the Lord may bless them and unify them so that the two who have become one may never be separated. To God be our glory now and forever. Amen. Those whom the whole you hear us and have mercy on us lord have mercy for you who created the heaven the earth and the sea and everything therein and ornamented them with your wisdom we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us lord have mercy O you who made man in his image and after his likeness and placed him in the paradise of joy we ask you, O Lord, to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who created a woman from Adam's side and gave her to him as a helper fit for him, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who blessed Abraham and Sarah and made her a wife for him and granted him the title of the head of the patriarchs, we beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who preserved Isaac and chose for him Rebekah and delivered him from his enemies, we ask you, O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who blessed Jacob and gave him Rachel as a wife and did grant them to be heirs of the promise, we ask you, O Lord, Hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who raised up Joseph and granted him Asenath as a wife, and through him you sustained all the land of Egypt, we ask you, O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who was pleased to be born of a virgin in the fullness of time, and enlightened all of mankind, we ask you, O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee, bless this marriage as you bless that marriage. We beseech you to hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O God, who transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of his divinity, bless your two servants, Michael and Rebecca. Purify them with your love for mankind. We ask you, O Lord, hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who attended the wedding of Cana of Galilee and blessed the wedding, transformed water into genuine wine by the authority of your divinity, bless and guard this wedding of your two servants, Michael and Rebecca, in peace, in harmony, and in love. And protect them, O Lord, we ask you, hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. O you who are beneficent and compassionate and full of goodness and affection, O God, make us so glorify your goodness, O lover of mankind. We ask you, O Lord, to hear us and to have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. wisdom of God, let us attend. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, truly. We believe in one, one God, 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 the, the Father, Father the Pantocrator, 
creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Virgin Mary, and became men. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and on the third day he rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, and in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we confess one baptism for the remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, who is eternal and everlasting, who has no beginning, whose wisdom has no limit, and whose power has no end, who made man from the earth and gave him a woman out of his side and accommodated her for him as a helper fit for him, as it pleases your lordship and goodness, because it is not good for a man to be alone. We ask you also now, our king, to join your two servants, Michael and Rebecca, to be united to each other in one body and to enter into the law of joy and to abide in your truthful teachings. Grant them a living fruit out of the womb so that they rejoice in the birth of good children and have quiet and peaceful times. Prepare them for every good work through Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Listen, O Lord, to us and hear us with the unworthy sinners and establish the union of your two servants, Michael and Rebecca, his helpmate. Deliver them from all evil and lengthen their lives with length of days that they may live in meekness, calmness, endurance, and submission and keep them blameless and without offense. Enlighten their hearts and understanding so that they may always do your will. Because you are merciful, plenteous in mercy to all who cry out to you, and we send unto you glory, honor, and worship, now and forever, and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who anointed out of the fruits of the rich olive tree, priests, kings, and prophets. We beseech and entreat you, O good Lord, the lover of mankind, to bless this oil with blessings, so that it becomes an oil to sanctify your two servants, Michael and Rebecca. Amen. Amen. A weapon of righteousness and justice. Amen. Amen. An ointment of purity and incorruption. Amen. Amen. Light and unfading beauty. Amen. Amen. Joy, ornament, and true comfort. Amen. Amen. Power our salvation and victory over all the deeds of the adversary. Amen. Amen. Renewal and salvation for their souls, bodies, and spirits. Amen. Amen. Richness with the fruits of good deeds. Amen. Amen. Glory and honor to your holy name with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is of one essence with you now and forever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. You have anointed my head with oil and your cup cheers me like the best wine. Your mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, the God of hosts, whose mercies are countless and whose goodness is beyond comprehension, 
Accept our supplications unto you and guard your two servants, Michael and Rebecca. Protect their unity and keep their bed in purity. Fortify them by your pure angels and send upon us from your prepared habitation a multitude of your compassions. Disperse our many iniquities by your goodness and grant us also to be in the places of rest of your saints in the heavenly kingdom through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O holy God, who crowned the saints with unfading crowns and reconciled the heavenly and earthly and united them, O our Master, now also bless these crowns which we prepare to be set upon your two servants to be for them crowns of glory and honor. Amen. Amen. Crowns of blessing and salvation. Amen. Amen. Crowns of joy and happiness. Amen. Amen. Crowns of jubilation and delight. Amen. Amen. Crowns of virtue and justice. Amen. Amen. Crowns of wisdom and understanding hearts. Amen. Amen. Crowns of comfort and confirmation. Amen. Amen. Grant your two servants who shall wear them the angel of peace and the bond of love. Deliver them from all evil thoughts and vile desires. Deliver them from every weight of cunning and from every devilish hardship. Let your mercy be upon them. Hear the voice of their supplication. Set your fear in their hearts. Manage their lives without delay unto old age. Make them rejoice by beholding the sons and daughters whom they will beget. Make them useful in your one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Confirm them in the Orthodox faith to the end. Lead them in the way of your righteousness through the pleasure of your good Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the end. Amen.
upon your two servants crowns of unvanquished grace. Amen. Amen. Crowns of elevated and everlasting glory. Amen. Amen. Crowns of unopposed and unattacked good faith and bless all their actions. Amen. Amen. For you, Christ our God, are the giver of all good things. And glory and honor are due to you with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who is of one essence with you, now and forever, and unto the ages of all ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory and honor, O oh Father. Amen. Amen. Bless them, only begotten Son. Amen. Amen. Sanctify them, O oh Holy Spirit. Amen. Our father Adam, Noah, Abraham, and Moses in the land of Midian, bless you, O bridegroom, and your helpmate. May he who blessed Isaac, the beloved, and Abel, the first righteous, and Solomon and his father David, bless you, O bridegroom, and your helpmate. May he who blessed our father Jacob and the righteous Job bless you sevenfold, O bridegroom, and your helpmate. May he who blessed our father Adam with Eve and Abraham with Sarah and Isaac with Rebekah bless this marriage. May he who blessed Jacob in his marriage and Hannah, the mother of Samuel, bless this marriage. May he who blessed Joseph with Aseneth and Zacharias with Elizabeth and Mary, the mother of the bridegroom and the rest of the blessed woman, bless this marriage. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Now, since you have been present at this blessed time before the sanctuary of the Lord of hosts and his holy altar and this orthodox gathering, you have been joined by this blessed marriage and holy crowning. And according to this right and this law, so also the rest of our forefathers, the believers, took one wife in purity and cleanness for the sake of descendants and childbearing. So you should now know each other's rights and submit yourselves to one another, that each of you be faithful to the other, According to our teacher, St. Paul the Apostle, who says the wife does not have authority over her own body, but her husband does, and likewise the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. Receive, O bridegroom, a bride who is yours. Jesus Christ has given her to you. At the hand of our fathers, the priests, they have presented her to you and blessed you both with his holy name. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. My blessed son, Michael, who is supported by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you are required to receive your wife, Rebecca, at this blessed hour, with a clear conscience, a pure soul, and a full heart. Excel in doing all that is good for her. Have compassion on her. Stay with me. <laughs> Excel in doing all that is do good for her. Have compassion on her. Hasten to do that which will gladden her heart. Today you are responsible for her instead of her parents. You have both been crowned with the heavenly crowning and a spiritual marriage. The grace of God has settled upon you. When you accept what has been commanded of you, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood, grant you blessed children by whom God will delight your eyes and grant you a long age and a prosperous life 
and prosperous your outcome in this life and the hereafter. Listen, O bride, and incline your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. For your chastity has appealed to the bridegroom, and he is your husband, and to him you will submit. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And you, blessed daughter Rebecca, and happy bride, you have heard what was commanded of your husband, so you are required to honor and respect him. Do not act against his opinion, but increase your obedience to him many times over what was commanded. For today you are alone with him, and he is responsible for you instead of your parents. So you must receive him with joy and cheer. Do not frown in his face. Do not neglect any of his rights upon you, and fear God in all matters with him. Because God commanded you to submit to him and ordered you to obey him as your parents. So be with him as our mother Sarah was obedient to our father Abraham and used to address him, my Lord. Thus God looked upon her obedience to him, blessed her, and gave her Isaac in her old age, and made her offspring as the stars of heaven and the sand on the seashore. As you listen to what we commanded you to do, the Lord will take your hand, increase your livelihood, and blessings will descend upon your home, and he will grant you blessed children by whom God will delight your eyes. A pure marriage and a revered crown. Blessed, O oh, our Lord, Emmanuel. As you bless the wedding at Cana of Galilee, for Michael the bridegroom and Rebecca the bride. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Lord bless you and bless your wife as he blessed Noah and his wife when they left the ark and populated the earth with their seed and as he blessed Abraham with Sarah and Isaac with Rebekah and Jacob in his marriage. May the blessing of the Lord to his name be the honor at the wedding of Cana of Galilee. Settle upon you and your home. Unify you in harmony. Create spiritual love in your hearts. Sustain your livelihood. Fill your house and grant you a long age and happy life with blessed children. We ask him to accept from us the prayers of this blessed crowning. Reward us with the eternal for the temporal, the heavenly for the earthly, and forgive us our sins, iniquities, and transgressions. And keep away from us the traps and cunning of the devil, the evil enemy. May he keep the rest of the brethren who attended with us with, this, with his protective right hand all the days of their lives and fill their homes and keep away from them the temptations of the enemy and grant them heavenly joy free from trouble. Through the intercession of the lady of us all, the pure, the pride of our race, the lady, the pure virgin, the honored mother of salvation, who is preferred over all mankind, the pure St. Mary, and the honored chosen martyr, St. Mark the Evangelist and Apostle, and all the righteous martyrs and holy saints. Amen. Lord, hear us as we pray together, saying, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. In Christ Jesus our Lord, bow your heads to the Lord before you, O Lord. Let us attend in the fear of God. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the whole. The Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. We proclaim and say, O our Lord Jesus Christ, bless the water of the rivers. May your mercy and peace be a fortress unto your people. 
your peace, establish for us your peace, and forgive us our sins, for yours is the kingdom, the power, the blessing, and the majesty, now and forever, and unto the ages of all ages. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us on temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the love of God, the Father, the grace of his only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the gift and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Go in peace. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Congratulations to the bride and groom. Hail to Mary, the Queen, the unbearing vine that no farmer toiled in her is found a cluster of Son of God is truly incarnate of the Virgin. She bore him, he saved us. And forgive us our sins, you found grace so bright. Many spoke of your honor for the Logos of the Father. Came and was it? 